Hello, everyone. I pray God is blessing you. I pray he is helping you in situations you may feel you don't have power in, I guess I can say. I pray that God is very faithful to you. And it is trying to leave my mind again. I think I got it back. <laughs> Anyways, I believe I speak about maybe those videos have not posted yet. Maybe some of them. I believe I speak about closing your mouth, knowing when to be quiet. I believe there are some situations where it doesn't really benefit you to say anything. For instance, um, I believe there is a person. I'm going through particular things. And I believe there is a person who gave me a message. And I was thinking, you know, to respond back and I guess attempt to straighten things out with that person. But I was thinking, okay, I believe I am going through constant, in a sense, demonic attacks. And I believe I was thinking, what good would it be to message that particular person and try to I guess, straighten things out with that particular person? Because I believe what I would tell that person, that person may not, let's call that person, person A, or let's call that person Johnny. I don't want to keep on saying person, person, person. So I can message Johnny, but as it seems like, back to back, to a point, demonic attacks, what sense is there, at least right now, it's not too big right now, what sense is there to message that person and possibly make things worse? So, I guess I can say my action for that particular person, for Johnny, <laughs> let me stop saying person, for Johnny, my action for Johnny is no action. not going to text that person back. The situation that I am in kind of reminds me of something that happened to me some years ago to where <laughs> it was so bad, to where it was problem after problem, man, 
It was really, really, really bad. And, but so many good things happened in that bad situation. So many good things. But what I learned those years back, I believe, that continue on trying to live for Jesus Christ, live by his rules, forgive, don't stay in anger, don't stay sad, pray, possibly fast, and keep on moving forward. So, years back, some years back, I was going through bad things, but I broke out of it. I eventually broke out of that bad situation back then. So, here we go now. And I believe even after that, I think I had to, or let me say, I believe after that, I encountered, you know, some other problems as well. So the constant attacks I am going through now, as it seems, I thought that it was decreasing. I guess it decreased for a while, but... <laughs> I guess when I posted that video, I guess some demons was like, let's get back on Kevin. <laughs> I rebuke that now and in Jesus name. But anyways, it is pretty much the same thing now. Fast, pray, keep on trying to live by the rules of Jesus Christ. Keep a positive attitude. Don't stay sad. Don't stay mad. Keep on moving forward. And I believe eventually the stuff that I am going through now, it, I believe I am going to break through like I broke through years back. So, and also too, years back too, I had to learn to shut my mouth. I had to learn it. And it was not so easy because I think one of the reasons is like people accusing you of stuff they probably should not accuse you of. And I believe at that time it was revealed to me what course of action I should take and I was trying to tell some people what was revealed to me, but I think many of those people were not really trying to hear it. I think they were more caught up in fear than what I was saying. I guess some people thought that I was not thinking right, but I believe they can see now I was thinking right. <laughs> What I told them, I don't know how many people I told, but what I told some people, now it did not work out exactly the way I thought it was going to work out, but the end result was what I wanted, if that makes any sense. So in the situation I am in now, pretty much the same thing possibly fast, which I have been fasting. Um, pray, continue praying, stay positive, do right by people, and stuff like that. Same thing. So, <clears throat> so like I was saying, I had to learn how to shut my mouth, and I believe you do too. Because I think demons can use people to come to you to start confusion. I truly believe so. And 
the Bible says to resist the enemy. So I believe all humans can resist because if we can't, why would the Bible say it? I don't have the full scripture on me right now, but I think part of it says resist the enemy and he shall flee. I believe I am missing some parts. I may post the scripture in the comment section, possibly. So we have to resist the enemy. So I hope all of this makes sense. No matter what problem you are going through, have it in your mind that you are going to go by God's rules no matter what. You are going to shut your mouth when you have to. I believe I am, I see it a little bit more than what is going on now. I see that what I am going through as a test. Maybe I should say parts of it, maybe parts of it is like a, a personal test. Maybe more than, maybe much of it is a personal test. <laughs> Testing, I believe my patience, long suffering, humility, meekness, and probably some other things. So, I believe in life, you will not always have peaceful circumstances in your life, if I am saying that right. Meaning that I believe in life, you are going to have trouble. So if you begin to have trouble, we, we must not revert back to our old ways, our old way of thinking, our old way of doing things. If it's true that we are Christian, we must adopt the wisdom of God. We must change the way we approach things. And I believe bit by bit, I have been changing more and more. Doing things better than before still make mistakes i still do make mistakes if you think i am perfect you are deceived <laughs> i still do make mistakes but i am getting better and i believe that's one of the reasons why god allows us to go through situations to, I believe, one of the reasons is to refine us. Put you right in the fire to refine you. Okay, Kevin has this issue. Kevin has that issue. Kevin have this issue. Let me put Kevin in the fire and problems so that those issues or much of them will be burnt away man please listen to what i am saying so going through problems i believe much of the time it is good if you do it the right way because i know i have to be i have to be better so if I need to be refined, then I need to be refined. I think all of us <laughs> need to be refined because I believe the more we are refined, possibly we can reach people more, I think. The more we are Christ-like, I think the more we can win souls. And I think in the Bible it says something like the ones who win souls are wise i don't have <laughs> the scripture complete in my mind i may post that as well so stay encouraged when you go through your problems you really listen now when you go through problems really really monitor yourself really really monitor your words monitor your attitude, 
monitor the way you speak. Make sure that the way you are behaving is pleasing to God when you go through problems. Because I think for many of us, if we are irritated or whatever else like that, we may act worse than we normally would, if I am saying that right. So I believe when there are problems, pay more close attention to yourself, please. Because I believe problems can be a way. I believe we are going to reap what, what we sow, but I also believe problems comes to us to refine us. And there is nothing wrong with refining. Nothing wrong with it. God bless you all.